Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Bakugan Pro Armored Elite uh, starter pack, or starter set, with um, Pyrus Batrix Ultra, and I believe Heos Rairazu and Darkest Cycloid. Um, pause if you want to see what any of the text says. Uh, yeah, it's an, so it's an Armored Alliance set, so but with Armored Elite um, set cards. So that's pretty nice. Um, anyway, let's just open this. All right, so here are the contents of the box. Two normal Bakugan, the Bakugan Ultra, some closing instructions for the Ultra, not very useful. Um, the rule book, 40 card deck, and the three character cards. And the cores. Um, so anyway, let's just lay out some cores here. So let's take a look at uh, Batrix Ultra first. Um, so here you can see Batrix Ultra. Um, a pretty nice sculpt. Uh, 700B power is not bad. Um, you can see the wings and the, the little hand detail is really nice. Um, the head looks okay. Um, I'm not a big fan of the way Batrix's head looks in either the, the art or the Bakugan uh, ball, but um, that's all right. Uh, the feet and the tail, the feet, the tail, and the back, and the uh, head remind me a lot of um, Enoch Ultra. Um, and the bodies, it's very, it's very similar to Enoch Ultra in a lot of ways, honestly. Um, but personally, I like Enoch Ultra's design a little better, but yeah. Um, green paint and orange paint for Pyrus, and of course, red and orange plastic. What's interesting is you can see the, um, the part that houses the magnet is slightly darker plastic than the rest of the red plastic. Just slightly, but it's a little hard to see on camera, but trust me, it's it's a little noticeable, but it's not bad. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's about it. Um, to fold up, fold in the head, fold up the ears. Uh, fold in the wings. Fold in the feet. Fold in the tail, and the tail, these two bits have to go into the wings like that, and then fold in the part in the back. And there you go. Um, and then to roll it out, let's see the arrows that way, so you just like that. So yeah. Next here is Darkest Cycloid. Um, you can see the arrow there. Oh, another thing about um, Batrix, gear ports here and here. So here we have Cycloid, Darkest logo, green and purple paint, and black plastic, like Darkest normally is. Um, yeah, not too much to see here, but yeah. Gear port on the top, arrow this way, so there we go. Uh, now we can see here, 200B power. Uh, the Cycloid mold is pretty cool. Um, it has these big, like, fists that I have gear ports on the side, which is pretty cool. Um, the head sculpt is really nice. It has that cycloptic one eye. I like the head sculpt quite a lot. Um, the paint detail is nice. Um, overall, yeah, pretty nice but for uh, Bakugan. Um, I wish it maybe had some feet that came out, but other than that, it, it's pretty cool. Um, here's Heos Rairazu. Heos logo there. You can see gear ports here, here, and here. Um, arrow that way. Standard light blue and teal paint on white plastic, like most Hale Spock gone. And now to roll out, the arrow's this way, so. There we go. Let's take a look here. 600B power. Um, three heads that come out. It reminds me a little bit of um, like Alpha Hydronoid or things like that. Um, but the way that the heads are kind of 
put, it kind of reminds me also of like Exedra from the old series. Um, yeah, anyway, you have these four like legs that come out like that, which looks pretty nice. Um, the heads don't have eyes, but that's accurate to the art, so that's pretty cool. The teeth are really nicely molded, as you can see there. Yeah, overall, pretty cool design. I like how the heads are molded in there, and the way that everything comes out is really nice. Um, to fold up, push these in, push in the legs like that, and then push the body together. And there you go. So now let's take a look at the cores. First, the shields, plus one, plus 50B, plus one damage, not good. Technically the best damage booster for a shield, but you're not going to be using d shields for damage boosting, so don't use this. 50 B power, not worth it. Minus 100 trap, um, not good either. I think even if you wanted to use orange shield for trap, I think there are better ones. Um, I'll put a correction right here of what the best trap one is. Not good. Uh, plus 150, plus 4 fire fist. Uh, not terrible, but it's not the best B fire fist or the best damage fire fist, and you want to be boosting one or the other max. You want to boost one to either 250 with the fire fist or, or the, sorry, you'd rather want to boost B power if you're going for Fire Fist B for some reason on certain Bakugan, like maybe Arless Hydronoid. Um, you'd want the 250 B, or if you were boosting damage, you'd want the plus six. So not good. Trap, minus five. Not terrible, I guess, but eh. Helix, plus 300, plus three. Again, kind of a weird Helix because you're not boosting strictly damage or strictly B power. Um, you'd probably rather want the plus 600 minus 3 for B power, or um, I want to say plus 5 damage minus 300, but I'm, I forget if that's the exact stats, I'll put it up here, for boosting damage. But this core might have a niche with certain Bakugan, like maybe Chaos Frascal or Ventus Rairazu, where you they, they have helixes and they want certain helixes, but... If they use the strictly B boosting helixes, they don't get any damage, so maybe this is okay. Um, and a plus 500 magic shield, not good. There are better magic shields for plus 650 or plus 400 minus 2 gear cost, things like that. Overall, these cores are not very good. I, none of these cores are really optimal, and I probably wouldn't use a single one of these cores if I'm being completely honest. Now let's take a look at the character cards and hope these are a little better. Darkest Cycloid, double fire fist, 208 damage, plus 600 B and shadow strike on a fire fist. Uh, that's a weird effect, I'll be honest. Um, because on fire fist, even with the 250 fire fist, you're only getting up to 1050 plus shadow strike, which is not great, I'll be honest. I... <laughs> That's not great, but um, I guess you're getting up to, on that, on the plus 250 Fire Fist, you're getting up to 1050 and 4 damage and Shadow Strike, which is, yeah, not good. Um, what's better, though, is this is actually pretty good, because you have 8 damage, and you have double Fire Fist. If you're, if you're running a Pyrus Bakugan, you run Miter Mac, you go for damage wins plays, and you can get up to 14 damage, which is really, really high. So this is good. Just probably, but you have to run uh, highest damage wins. Rairazu, 602, um, plus 2 Frost Strike on shield. Um, you can get up to 1,250. Oh, wait. There's not even two magic shields in the set. That's... Odd. Double magic shield is pretty good though. Um, but <laughs> there's not even two there's not even two magic shields in the deck. That's that's unfortunate. They gave the wrong cores. Anyway, um you can get up to 1250 and two damage and two frost strike, which is not great. Um it's okay. It's not the worst though. So eh, usable-ish. Pyrus Batrix Ultra, Helix, uh 
Helix uh, OM Shield 700 to on the plus 600 Helix 1300 minus uh, and then zero minus you know two damage minus three so effectively zero damage um, not great better power spock going for B power yeah um, Roy Razu is interesting though out of these character cards I would say Batrix is pretty bad but these two are interesting. The extra magic shield is nice for beginners who don't have the rolling down, so this is actually decent. I wouldn't say if you're a pro or if you're really good, I wouldn't say probably skip Hayas Rairazu, but if you're a beginner and you're not quite confident in your rolling, 1250 is not too far off of these standard, you know, 1450, and having that extra magic shield that allows you to get a higher chance of rolling than the, the magic shields might be a nice, uh, might be a nice sort of trade-off for beginners. Uh, Cycloid, really good. This is really good, but you need to have a Pyrus Baku gun and be using Damage Wind Plays cards with this. But Darkest Cycloid definitely, definitely has a use. Now let's take a look at the uh, ability cards. All right, starting off, ooh, uh, uh, Darkest Pyrus ability, three cost. Uh, 300 B plus three damage, plus three energy for a each Baku gear attached to that Baku gun. Um, not bad. Um, it's effectively free 303 damage if you have a Baku gear, and if you run Baku gears, this is not bad. I like this card. Um, zero. Darkest Fire Dodge, uh, Stop Darkest or Pyrus for zero. You need Pyrus and Darkest to play this. Not bad. Um, probably not great, though. I probably wouldn't run this, but it's not terrible. Um, if you flip uh, Battle Hardens, three cost. Um, if you flipped three or more cards this attack, um, Stop non Pyrus and plus five energy. Why would you need five energy at the end of a turn? That's odd. Overall, I think this card is pretty bad. You need to ha have flipped three or more cards, which, I mean, that's not a terrible condition, but then you need to pay three energy to stop a non Pyrus, which is fine, but then you get five energy back, but then what are you gonna do with that extra five energy? Maybe if you have hero cards or evolutions or gear, eh. I probably wouldn't use this though. And, and then you get an extra copy. Pyro Field, five cost, plus five attack, uh, double strike, and shadow strike. Um, probably not great, but I guess not completely terrible. Maybe if you're running a certain type of deck, it might be okay. Pyro's Flashfire. Four cost, rapid fire. The second rapid fire card you play this turn is free, so standard rapid fire. Remove all enemy Baku gear, Baku cores, sorry, and negate their effects. I like, I personally do like remo core removal, to be honest, because I know a lot of current meta Baku gun really rely on their gear, or on their core, sorry. Um, so I actually think this is good. Another copy, which is nice. Insta Baku gear, two cost, plus 400. Wait, that's that's a mistake. Plus 400 damage? <laughs> no, no way. No way. I think it's supposed to be plus 400 B power. Uh, that's definitely a mistake. If it was plus 400 damage, that would be insanely game-breaking. If that Bakugan has a gear attached to it, draw one, then discard a card. Um, eh, not great. You kind of cycle through your hand, which, yeah, depending on how you like to play, might be good. Um, and plus 400 for two is okay, so maybe okay. You get another copy. Pyro Field, we just saw that. Uh, did we just see that? Let me see. Yeah, so I just went over that, so you get another copy. 
Um, five cost, power spirit, plus a thousand. Eh. A thousand for five, you get two of the cards. Not great, but eh. Baku Spin Blast, three cost, draw one, double strike. Eh. Not terribly great, but maybe okay. Hyperbatrix Ultra, two cost, 800 B, three uh, damage. If this has two Baku gear attached to it, double strike. Um, then you're still getting zero damage on your own Helix. You're getting up to 1,400 zero, which is not great, especially considering a lot of Baku that can get that in base. For two cost, probably not worth it. I'd skip this. Um, Runa's Blade, four cost, plus 400, plus four, rapid fire. Um, hmm. For a rapid fire card, this might be okay, but eh, I still probably wouldn't run this. You get another one, because again, it's not focusing on B or uh, damage, and it's not giving any crazy effects, but eh, maybe it might be okay for some decks. Pyra Stormer, 6 cost, double strike, 600, it's a Baku gear. Um, maybe not terrible. I probably wouldn't run this, but I could see this being used to good effect if you have gear reduction cores and um, some other things. Scorching Laser Lance, and maybe some other energy ramping things. Uh, Plus three damage, plus three damage, and plus three frost strike for each Baku gear attached to the Baku gun. Um, maybe decent for damage wins plays if you have Baku gear. Um, Firelight Fuser. Maybe attached to a character as a second Baku gear, plus 200. When you play this, plus three damage. Not bad. I, I think this is pretty good because you can play this for free on certain um, gear reduction. Yeah, I like this card. You get two of them. Uh, one cost, plus four damage. Ooh, that's pretty nice for, again, damage wins plays. You get two of them. Chaos Pyrus ability, not bad. Darkest Fire Destabilizer, six cost. It can be a uh, second Baku gear. Pyrus Darkest, plus 400, plus one. Rapid Fire, ooh, that's pretty nice. For a gear that's Rapid Fire, getting 400 if you have a Rapid Fire starter that's cheap. And it, this is a second Baku gear. This is good. Pikus Energizer, two cost. Can be played as a second Baku gear, plus 100, plus one. I'm um, not terrible, but I think there are other better ones. Zero cost, Pyrus Chaos, stop Pyrus Chaos. You get two of them. Dark Resilience, three cost. If you have flipped three or more cards this attack, stop non darkest and choose a player to discard a card. Uh, a little better effect than the other one that was if you flip three or more cards, I think, but um, probably not great. I probably wouldn't use this for a cost. Gear card, Blaze Helm. When you play this, draw two, then discard two cards. Again, cycling your hands, which some people like. Plus 100, plus two damage. Uh, I probably wouldn't run this. I don't really see too much of a use. Zero cost, 100. You may pay an additional three for 500 instead. So it's zero cost for 100, which is not bad, but the empower is kind of useless because that's three for 500, which is not good. Eh. Not bad for the initial one, but, so I might run this, but another darkest resilience, or dark resilience, so we already have that. Hail slashers. Four cost, 400, plus one frost strike. Um, not terrible, but not great either. You get two of them. Chaos max blast, plus five damage, two cost. If the Bakugan has a Baku gear attached to it, draw one. Um, again, decent for damage wins. You get two of them. All right, so that's about it. What's weird about this deck is it has a lot of good damage boosting cards and a lot focused on damage, with especially with Darkest Cycloid. However, <laughs> there are no damage when plays cards here. I think a lot of these cards are pretty good in terms of what they offer, but at the same time, I think 
a lot of them offer damage. And the deck is kind of centered around damage, and Darkest Cycloid is centered around damage. But there's no damage wins plays card. So if, I would say a lot of these cards are good. So if you're a competitive player, I would say look into these cards and figure out if they're right for your deck. These cores are terrible for the most part. I would not. Most of these cores are pretty bad. Darkest Cycloid and Hales Rairazu are decent. Darkest Cycloid in particular is good for damage wins. Hales Rairazu, not for the super competitive player, but for the beginning competitive player, pretty good. But again, if you want to run like most of these cards, you have to get Might of Cyndius or Mac to go for damage wins plays. Uh, but other than that, yeah, pretty nice set. Um, the toys are nice. Um, a lot of the cards are pretty good. One character card is really good, another character card is decent. And yeah, overall pretty happy with this set. Um, anyway, feel free to um, comment below. Let me know if I should review any other Bakugan, new or old. And let me know and ask any questions. Um, anyway, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, that's it for this video. So thanks for watching. Bye.